Hello, Mama Llamas. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Anomaly, but you can call me Allie for short. Now, I know I'm holding my microphone, okay, but that's because I took it off of this this the stand right here. Um, it's freaking heavy as shit, but I took it off, and I'm just I'm just too lazy to put it back on. So I truly hope that you understand. So I just I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about uh just just a little something so for any of you guys that did not play um the sims 3 which that is literally what i started out with i did not start out with sims 1 or sims 2 because i'm i'm obviously a fake sims player obviously but if you didn't know in the sims 3 um we had open worlds and if you've only ever played the sims 4 you're like what is open world what a concept what a what a fucking concept well i will fucking tell you it sorry i just get really excited about this stuff so um in the sims 3 basically you could only live in one world just one world but you could edit that world to be literally whatever you wanted now i don't have sims 3 installed on my computer right now um or else i definitely would uh show you guys but basically you could literally put lots wherever you wanted in the world um like literally wherever you wanted you can make them as big or as small um as you wanted um and there was actually a create a world tool which i never got into because i'm dumb but using this tool you could literally create your own world any type of world that you wanted like uh whatever like a you could create like a beach world or like a really crazy city world with lots of big um towers and lots of skylights i don't know i don't live in the city and you could also create um kind of like a mix you could have like a really big city in one area of the world and then you could do um like the suburbs in the other half of the world and it was just chefs i said this in my last face cam i'm gonna do it again chefs fucking kiss okay it was honestly the best and don't get me wrong i love the sims 4 um and i love i really love that we get to travel with, between different worlds and pretty much go wherever we, uh, wherever we want okay um but sims 3 was just iconic it was iconic in that aspect so that's pretty much the gist of it and I, i'm talking about this because if you don't know who arnie is okay let's take a look back okay um arnie actually is a mod creator mod creator cc creator same thing um and he actually made a brand new kind of like mod i think like a month ago a month and a half ago two months i have no idea um but he made this open world mod for the sims 4 sims 4 is not open world it's completely like locked completely locked world and he actually made a mod to where you could like travel to this open world and you could go to a hotel you could go on a plane you could go to the bank like it was revolutionary and i never played with it just because um i couldn't be a patreon at the time but it is finally out um for public access so you bet i'm gonna play that shit but just that mod in itself really gave arnie a lot of clout like he did a phenomenal job like i watched a lot of videos on it he did a phenomenal job um on that mod and he's actually coming out right now i believe with another kind of open world mod but it's like farm life or something and i just okay when like snowy escape was um it, it was either snowy escape or journey to batu whenever either of those um were in development there was a lot of speculation about like a farm life um expansion pack or game pack and i was like yes okay sims 3 horses were my jam and i really wanted horses again and i just wanted to be like a country gal you know but um that didn't happen all right so i did have to put my microphone on uh the stand because it was making too much noise so i'm sorry if you guys heard the noise before but um there is a point to this video okay so um now that we kind of know like the backstory um to the sims 3 um and the kind of open world concept if you've never heard of it and also arnie oh my god arnie is freaking making a world edit tool for the sims 4 this is literally revolutionary okay i i sound dramatic but hear me out okay for like the longest time since the sims 4 even came out um the sims team has been saying um that it really is impossible to make the sims um for open world they've been saying that you know they're like the technology or something about the sims 4 i don't know i don't know um it can't really handle it and it wasn't made for that which i totally understand and i understood until i saw this and it really made me think like 
can we really believe them? Like, you know, I love, I love EA. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I love The Sims. It is um a, a very, very good game and franchise. But like, I just, you know, I believe them. And I see this and I'm like, if, if a mod creator can do this, you know, with their only funds coming through Patreon, whereas um, the EA, you know, they're a billion, maybe multi-billion, I don't know, I haven't looked into it, but a billion dollar company, like, this is freaking insane. And what I'm about to say, I know could be um, very well controversial, which I believe it shouldn't be, but, you know, people are entitled to their own opinions. Um, but I truly believe that EA can give us more than what we think that they can. That's just me. Like seeing the stuff that, you know, is happening with mod creators, that's just what I believe. You know, if you disagree, that's totally okay. You are entitled to your own opinion, just like everybody else's. And we need to um, respect each other regardless of what um, we believe. So I did want to watch a little bit of this walkthrough that Arnie posted on YouTube um, just about like a week ago ish. Um, I just came across it like I had no idea until I went onto Twitter and actually saw it. So um, I'm just going to watch like little clips of it, kind of skip around. I'm not going to watch the whole thing because this video will end up so long. I'm going to start with the introduction because this looks very interesting. I know um, Arnie does talk in it a little bit. Hopefully the audio isn't too loud because if it is, I'm literally going to die. Okay, I don't want to record this again. Wow. Oh my gosh. Do you guys hear that music? That is literally so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Yes. World edit. Are we serious? Bro, if I can make my own world. Oh. Welcome to this new video where I am going to show you. Well, I am bright. Hello. Worlds in the Sims 4 and have them semi open. Wow. And I am going to show you how it's working. So let's jump into it. Let's jump into the game. Okay. So when you load the game, there is going to be a new new crest. Okay, pause, pause, pause. I need you guys to know that I'm going to try to not talk as much in, as possible in this, maybe a little bit, um, but I do. Uh, I am going to skip around, but if you want the full video, it will be in the description. So do it, definitely check that out because I will be talking just um, a tiny bit. That is so interesting. Empty world. You can see it's okay, so he literally like, this is Newcrest, um, but he like split the top part of Newcrest and the bottom part and then like the side part. Which you can actually kind of do that with um, like those custom uh, world maps that you can download. I'm pretty sure some of them do um, do that, but he like actually made them different like worlds with the world edit tool. That is sick. So when you load, for example, any of the five lots in this world, you're going to enter this completely empty world. Wow! Look how empty it looks. I changed the um, 2D background. Oh my god. Uh, all and the terrain? Uh, these uh, 3D mountains. So it won't look off when you are in this world. Um, it's a 750 by 750 uh, world. And okay. you can go anywhere in this world. I, I unleashed the play. Obviously. Player. You still have five logs. Just like the uh, open world mod. I'll show you the very first <laughs> feature. So when you shift plus click on the floor, you're going to world get edit. This, um, world edit pie menu. So there's a pie menu. There's like a whole different pie menu. Stop. Oh my god. So when you click on create a large forest, oh my god. To oh my god. To create a forest around it, and you will the trees literally just popped up. Of them that is insane. A bit more. Arnie, oh my god. I'm just going to pause it right here because I did want to take a look at um, all of these things in the pie menu. So we have create interactive venue, which I'm very interested to see. Uh, create rows, create a world tag, import world quests and missions, terrain and floor, world decor, and something at the top, which uh, I don't know what that is, but let's go ahead and like, ooh, I'm seeing, let's skip ahead. I'm seeing some water, create ocean. Bro. On the terrain menu, you can create an ocean, and yes, the water is. Oh my open. god! So. And the water animates. These waves over here, and you can even add more. The water is literally I'm animating. So like, uh, it does that in the base game, but just seeing a mod creator being able to do that—that that is insane. That is cool. That is really cool. Going to replace the other one, and it's going to bring up. Oh, he can raise the water, bro. Okay, let's go ahead and look um, and see 
what else catches the eye. I'm seeing a little shack here. I don't know how he did that. World objects. Wow! You realize that the object is not in the right place. The turning mill. That is so cool. By shift clicking on the object, just gonna find the effect in the He can just delete it. Jo oh, he just deleted the windmill. I thought he was gonna delete the whole freaking shack. That's so insane. Um, wow! And looks like he's making some roads here. When you shift. <sighs> I'm so excited. I know, like, some of you might be like, what the heck? Why is she so excited? Because Sims 3 was literally all I played. And the fact that I get to relive it in this game is just, ugh, like, I am so just get rid of overjoyed. And then go to the objects of the wow. You can create a community object. There are hundreds of them. And you can create that is so cool. So you can, like, place different community objects. You can create your own story mode. You can create your own create your own clues that is so cool so if you guys aren't familiar with um his open world mod he did like a whole story mode like you could have played it without it um but he did a story mode and it was really really interesting and you can actually create your own which is so like important when you think about like the opportunities that you may have to use this like you can literally make challenges out of this um you can play out your own story that is so so cool um the ocean. why is the ocean oh okay <laughs> so, i was like why is everything floating in the ocean um but it looks just like pretty much the gist of it let's see i see like you you can rename the worlds wow such a cool feature that is a cool feature y'all we can rename worlds how amazing um is that that is so so cool now i'm not gonna play all this video um but like i said link will be uh in the description let's just like go to this part so i can like have a have a screen to um end it on you know <laughs> arnie cheers to you cheers to you man absolutely like phenomenal what you were doing um with this game and i i'm definitely going to become a patreon soon once i get um my next paycheck but i do recommend that you guys um become his patreon too um just because like this guy is like i said single-handedly um just saving saving the sims 4 in essence um and he is just a one-man band and like we gotta support him like it's just it's so it's so great what he's doing um but you know thinking about this and thinking about um what all mod creators have done for this game it really it really just disappoints me um and i in my opinion i feel like i'm being lied to um i feel like like I said, EA is not telling us um, w the capacity that they have um, because EA has all these fancy schmancy like machines and computers and they, you know, they have a lot. They, ha they definitely have the ability to make The Sims 4 more than what it is now. Um, and I just, I, I'm sad. <laughs> I'm really sad um, and saddened by, uh, you know, if you think about it, The Sims 3 and The Sims 2, such amazing amazing game sims 2 from what i've seen and sims 3 from what i've experienced i've only started playing the sims 4 in 2019 and it came out in 2014 so i i, I went into this having no idea um how much the sims 4 was lacking um and ea is always telling us that they just can't do uh open world just because of the engine of the game but come on guys like come on this is just you know it's just they're lying in my opinion they are not telling us the truth but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here i will link um arnie's patreon down in the description below as well as this video so you can check it out for um yourself there's a lot of stuff that i did not cover so definitely check that out also just wanted to let you guys know that the q a is still on um i just think that i'm gonna do like a speed build or something for that maybe create a sim um in the upcoming a uh, week or two so definitely be on the lookout for that but i'm gonna end the video here if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like and actually do let me know if you have um any 
feelings about what I just said, any opinions that you may have um, about what I just said. I know a lot of people will disagree with me, but that, like I said, is totally okay. So, um, oh, and as always, as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a Mama Lemma. I love y'all. Bye.